Hi, if you're an English-speaking Muslim, you probably know who Nu'man Ali Khan is. For those of you who aren't Muslim, he's basically a celebrity Muslim preacher who travels around teaching and giving Islamic lectures. Well, right now he's involved in a scandal, and some people have asked for my opinion about it. Well, I don't know if Mr. Khan is guilty about anything or not, but the accusations do look pretty serious. The scandal is supposedly about his inappropriate behavior around women. Apparently, one involving an employee, one involving a volunteer, and another involving a woman who attended his lecture. One thing is for sure, Muslims are gossiping about it a lot, and the term womanizer is coming up. And many other Muslims are judging him harshly. So here's my opinion about this womanizing scandal. I think the Muslims who are criticizing Mr. Khan are just being hypocritical because if Mr. Khan is a womanizer, then that means he is a true Muslim, a true follower of Muhammad. Why do I say that? Well, let me turn your attention to the Islamic history books for the answer. In the History of At-Tabari, Volume 9, page 139, we read about a woman who had offered herself to marry Muhammad and he accepted her right away. When her people heard about this, they told her, You are a self-respecting woman, but the Prophet is a womanizer. Seek an annulment from him. So, that was Muhammad's reputation. Now, if you're a Muslim, this information might be a shock to you and you may be in denial. But think about it. How would people view a man who has sexual relationships with many women, multiple wives and female slaves? Obviously, they will view such a man as a womanizer. So, come on, Muslims. Stop being hypocrites and leave Nu'man Ali Khan alone. According to the Islamic sources, Muhammad was the greatest womanizer of all. And if you disagree, then watch my videos Muhammad with son's wife, plus Muhammad and blonde women, plus Muhammad's Jewish wife, and Muhammad's Christian female slave. Lastly, I would like to say, I will pray for you, Mr. Khan because Muslims generally tend to be very judgmental and unforgiving. Also, I invite you and all Muslims to a higher spiritual standard. It was Yeshua, Jesus, who said, quote, You have heard that it was said to those of old, You shall not commit adultery, but I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Matthew chapter 5, verses 27 to 28. Thanks for watching and God bless you.